Terra Incognita. The land in between. A forgotten labyrinth where two rivers meet. Towering monoliths ignite the imagination. And canyons form mazes, revealing millions of years of geology. For thousands of years, people have called these sacred canyons home. This land of harsh winters, searing summers, and inhospitable terrain hides thriving microclimates rich with biodiversity, sanctuaries for wildlife. Dark skies illuminate to express time and reflect on self. It is a place in this ever-connected world where one can feel self-reliance and find piercing solitude. A wilderness of stone extends in scenic views so full of texture and hues that the mind struggles to comprehend them. A testament to the processes of time and elements where the forces of nature are unrestrained. With knowledge, thoughtfulness, and intention, you can engage with this land, confident that your actions are helping to preserve Terra Incognita. The backcountry roads of the Needles and the Maze lead to some of the most remote and beautiful corners of the Colorado Plateau. This is an adventure defined by solitude, wildness, and self-reliance. As you research and plan your trip, here are a few tips that will help protect these unique qualities and reward your effort with an unforgettable backcountry experience. Roads in the needles will challenge drivers with steep grades, off-camber drops, and paint-scraping narrows. Elephant Hill has a turn so tight, it can only be navigated in reverse. Roads in the maze are equally challenging, but are even more remote. The stretch from Teapot Rock campsite to the land of Standing Rocks is notorious for damaging vehicles and stranding the unaware. All of the needles and maze roads require a high-clearance, low-range, four-wheel drive vehicle. If you end up stuck or broken down, towing fees will cost over $1,000. This is not a place for inexperienced drivers to test their skills. When developing your itinerary, make a realistic plan and stick to it. Check the weather and get road condition updates before heading out. Spring and fall are the most popular seasons for backcountry travel in the park, and temperatures can still hit over 100 degrees. Seasonal flooding and mud can make the roads impassable, especially on the Flint Trail, where the road traverses slopes of clay. In winter, snow and ice can be a challenge. Water sources are limited and not near any campsites in the maze and needles, so bring more than you need. In Salt Creek, Horse Canyon, and Lavender Canyon, know how to navigate quicksand and deep sand and be ready to self-rescue if you get in trouble. Always travel in pairs and have a strategy for self-rescue and the skills to make basic repairs. Every vehicle should have at least one full-size spare, a shovel, high-lift jack, and chains for all four tires. All roads in Canyonlands are well-signed and easy to follow. Your vehicle should never have to leave the road. Drive directly over obstacles like rocks, sand, and mud. Straddle ruts and washouts even if they are wider than your vehicle. There are limited spots for passing, but you should never drive over vegetation or off the road. Use an existing turnout, dry wash bottom, or solid rock surface to pass other vehicles. You might have to back up to an appropriate spot. Be courteous to other drivers and cyclists. Drive slowly and stop frequently to scout ahead on foot before committing to difficult sections. Motorcycles are permitted on backcountry roads. Group size is limited to minimize sound and wildlife disruptions and keep dust down as a courtesy to others. Photo opportunities abound from the road. 
There is never any reason to take vehicles or bikes off-road for photos. Visit roadside attractions on foot only and travel on durable surfaces. When hiking, always walk on marked trails, solid rock, or in sandy washes. Biological soil crust and desert vegetation is very fragile. These soil crusts are complex living organisms and the foundation of the desert ecosystem. One careless step not only destroys these fragile organisms, but increases erosion and leads to unnecessary unofficial trails. Camping is limited to the sites reserved in advance on your permit. This helps simplify the planning process and guarantees your specific itinerary. These sites are maintained by the park, clearly marked with boundary posts, and optimized for privacy, solitude, and expansive views. By limiting your camp activities to the designated space, you can help keep these iconic locations in pristine condition. Campfires and hammocks are not allowed. There is simply not enough wood, and trees can be easily damaged. In remote areas of the park, like the maze, all users are required to carry out their solid human waste. You can use commercially available human waste disposal bags or other toilet systems that securely contain human waste in a sealed container. In some needles campsites, you may use park-provided toilets for solid human waste. Don't throw trash in the pit toilets. All garbage, both organic and inorganic, needs to be carried out. Make sure all trash and food is secure. Ravens and other animals are attracted to food and trash and will spread it. Food tarps make it easy to clean up micro trash and food crumbs. Carry a trash bag in your vehicle and pick up litter, even if it's not yours. Make one last sweep of your camp and leave it better than you found it. Canyonlands is known for its remoteness and quiet solitude. Excessive noise diminishes that experience for everyone. Don't play music or yell echoes across the canyon, even if you think you are alone. Avoid revving your engine or driving a poorly tuned vehicle. Let the sounds of nature prevail. If you are patient and maybe a bit lucky, Canyonlands can offer amazing wildlife viewing opportunities. Bighorn sheep are particularly sensitive to loud vehicles and human presence. When observing wildlife, maintain your distance and remain quiet. Canyonlands is a living cultural landscape with an archeological record that spans thousands of years. Viewing these sites in person is a powerful and educational experience we are collectively responsible for protecting. Leave artifacts where you find them. Observe archaeological sites from a distance and do not enter the surrounding areas or structures. Many of these sites are of sacred importance to people living today. So please, visit with respect. Carefully consider what photographs you share on social media. And remember, your digital footprint will remain long after you've left the park. Avoid posting tags with GPS coordinates and exact routes and allow future visitors the joy of discovery. We hope these tips will help you have an unforgettable experience that builds a deep connection with Canyonlands. Immerse yourself in the wilderness, enjoy it with humility and respect, and preserve this experience for future generations. <laughs>